Now, whose who's idea was it to design a dog ball that's uh, green? It's very hard to find. It looks like she's just tearing me apart. This is one of those vicious animal attack videos. Go get the ball. She loves Mr. Tuggy. Is Mr. Tuggy an inappropriate name for a dog toy? I don't think so. Oh, a little slip and a slide. You do a little slip and a slide there. Right then, let's try a little bit of uh, an extension on the old selfie stick there. Feels like the camera's right up in my face, y'all. So pondering, pondering and pondering in the park. Had a very interesting meeting yesterday with Zappa, who are the augmented reality platform. Um, I remember Zappa from years and years ago, and they say they're about 12 years old, but I, I seem to remember them being even older than that. Pretty sure they've been going, it might be Blipper as well that are really old. They're the ones, Blipper are the guys that made a big comeback, aren't they? Um, after going under and then I think that's right. Anyway, fact checking will will happen. I've had many queries for web AR projects um, that have fallen short because the eighth wall platform, which I usually use for this kind of thing, has quite a restrictive pricing uh, model. It's a licensing model they have, um, but the the cheapest uh, it's it's based on it's almost like a subscription. So. I think it's something like £1,200 per month for campaigns. So you have like a, a standard subscription, but then you'll pay for the standard um, licensing, something like £1,200 a month. Um, which if you, so if you had a campaign over a year, that is, you know, quite a substantial amount of money. Um, you know, like £14,000 or something. My maths isn't great, fact checking below. So I've had many projects that have fallen over because of that pricing structure, because generally your campaign will have loads of hits for the first few weeks and will then slide off, you know, and you, you won't really be uh, using that money with the, uh, with the hits on the server. So uh, if anyone from 8th Wall watches this, I'd, I don't know whether you're already in the, in the process of doing so, but you really should consider a pay-as-you-go model for the licensing. Um, it'd be much fairer, and I'm sure you'd get loads more work through the platform if you use that model. So Zappa, their pricing structure is based on a subscription. So as an agency, you can pay something around 5,000 pounds per year, which allows you then to create as many project campaigns as you like. And uh, you can add a custom domain as part of that subscription. That's only one domain, but you could uh, you could have extra domains and pay pay for that as well. So, but generally the pricing structure is much better uh, than Eighth Walls. So, um, so yeah. Also, Blipper. I haven't spoken to them yet, but they've got a web AR platform released, which will be worth looking at as well. And I'll feedback on what they're offering too. Technically, um, Zappa are doing very similar things to Eighth Wall. Uh, there's a few things still in development. Uh, I'm not sure about everything, you know, like face lenses and all that sort of stuff. You know, Eighth Wall do all kinds of things now. They do, um, I think they're doing object recognition. They do curved image targets and um, face lenses. But I'm not sure uh, about Zappa yeah, I need to dig, delve a bit deeper into their technology and see, and also see how it performs. Because the thing about Eighth Wall is the, uh, it does perform very well. Uh, as far as smooth tracking um, and all that good stuff. So, interesting developments in the web AR platform side of things, which, uh, which should shake things up a bit and hopefully it does shake up the uh, pricing structures. Uh, make it a bit fairer. We really do need a pay-as-you-go system 
um, for campaigns. Right, gotta go. Bye bye.